what is the theory behind the social observatory? One important thing is that it engages in what we call embedded research. If you look at how researchers generally interact with projects, they kind of fly in, do the survey, fly out, analyze the data in some foreign country, uh, and then you know maybe write a paper and present it back to the project. But that's about the extent of the interaction. Uh, we believe that's not enough. Our researchers actually sit in project offices for years at a time, interacting, engaging every day with project staff, with project beneficiaries, trying to sort of teach people how to do research within the communities themselves. That way you're sort of creating a research community that not just consists of PhD researchers, but everybody. Our big partners, our main partners, have been the Pudubalbu project in Tamil Nadu and the Jivika project in Bihar, which is one of India's poorest states. We also work with projects in Maharashtra, Orissa, And our big partners are projects that are called livelihood projects in South Asia, which are basically networks of women's self-help groups. Once those networks are formed, they then roll out a whole bunch of what they call vertical interventions, such as nutrition interventions, uh, income generating in interventions, interventions on things like domestic violence, I mean a whole variety of different things uh, to improve people's lives. And I think the Social Observatory has, has, has really done well in terms of reaching further than traditional research methods uh, would go. The key to me is not how fancy the techniques are, but that it is quality research for action learning. Our job really is to turn us out of the place, to, 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 to make us not matter, so that the projects can do this by themselves.